Lowest I ever hit was probably the night that I tried to commit suicide driving my car off the road. That was probably the lowest, lowest that I've ever, ever been. How I describe J.C. Baker, um, just enthusiastic. Uh, one of those people who you see and he just makes you smile. Uh, I mean, it's really one of those things where you just kind of see him and he just makes your day better. Like we'll be running for practice and he literally is right across from me, across like the locker room and I see him every day and we make eye contact and he just kind of gives me one of these and I always give him one of those and it's just one of those things where you just, you just, we just get each other. He's fun loving. He likes to <laughs> crack a lot of jokes and he is quiet at first, but once he gets to know you, the nonstop he, ride act. He likes to just yeah, joke around a lot. When he finally broke out of his shells, we do um, you know, an on deck time. And when you introduce yourself to the team, you say a little, you know, say something inspirational to the team. And, and his on deck, uh, on deck was dynamite. I was praying about it. I didn't know what to say. You know, as a new guy, just kind of wanted to wrap up everything that I had been through and what got me to this point. So I think that was, I knew that I needed to tell my story just because somebody else could have been going through it. Somebody else might have already gone through it. Somebody they know could have gone through it. And I didn't want them to feel embarrassed. You know, me being addicted to drugs and whatnot or committing suicide, wanting to commit suicide, isn't something to be embarrassed about or ashamed of. That's something that's, that can happen to anyone. And I don't want to hide from it because it's very real. So I wanted to bring light to it. This is going to be a team that, you know, I'm sacrifice my body for day in and day out that I'm giving all my time to, then they need to know where I came from and what I believe in. And so I just allow God to take control of my tongue and I say, you know, you just say what you want to say.